welcome back to my channel so you're going to learn how to preserve your zobo drink so this is the zobo juice you already know how to prepare your zobo juice if you don't know you can go back on to my video and you learn how to produce zobo juice or you can use the link in the description of this video so okay this is the juice already prepared now to preserve it you would need uh, five liters of the zobo juice you would need a cup then you would need a measuring okay the sodium benz weight which is what we are going to use to preserve this zobo drink this will let your drink stay up to three months without refrigeration and this is the measuring spoon which we are going to use so this measuring spoon is a normal cooking measuring spoons like you've seen in the video and we're going to be using the smallest which is 0 0.6 mil or 1 over 8 teaspoon I'm trying to show you the measurement now but if you have your measuring spoon use the 0 0.6 mil or the one with 1 over 8 teaspoon so now we are going to measure out um, zobo preservative which is the sodium benzoate but before then we have to scoop out some zobo juice into the cup just like this you scoop that out and then you set it outside the reason you're scooping it out is because the taste in the the main zobo drink in the bucket and the taste in the cup has to be the same so now we're going to add our sodium benzoate into the five liter of zobo drink so now that drink like i said has to be the same taste with that in the cup so if you're used to measuring for baking it's the same method you use the spoon is just supposed to be leveled not too high you get just like what is being shown on the screen now so we're going to add this into the zobo drink and mind you this zobo drink has to be hot so it shouldn't be um cold while adding this preservative so i'll add it now and then after adding it i'm going to stir and the next thing you would do after stirring is to taste the zobo drink the one in the bucket after tasting it so I'm going to scoop out a little now to taste it so both of them the one in the cup and this one I'm tasting now has to be the same okay so the taste is is okay it's not acidic it's okay so now I'm going to taste the one in the cup just to be sure both of them are the same it is also the same it's okay so there you have it the drink in the bucket and the one in cup is the same i'll just go ahead and explain a few things okay so i wanted to explain some um, few things about the zobo drink so for the sodium benzoate if you add so much into your zobo drink the, the, the taste of the drink becomes too sharp kind of acidic to the tongue and people will not want to drink it even you will not like to drink it so the measurement is supposed to be very little and if it's so so little your drink will get spoiled so that's why i use the measurement of 0.6 um, for the tea, um, for the spoon measurements to five liters of the prepared zobo drink, so that way your drink wouldn't get bad and the taste will be the same. So let's say you've made yours, and while you prepared yours, you added your sodium benzoate to your zobo drink, 
and you tasted it and it is sharp now different from the one you separated from it now this is how you can resolve that problem you can go back and with well um, the residue that is a leaf and all and then um, add more of that liquid right now the liquid is very very light so um, it, you're going to have some some flavor for it so you add it into your zobo mixture to bring down that acidic taste but if you follow exactly the way i have shown you in this video you shouldn't have any problem so just make sure that you have your five liters of zobo drink ready and then use 0.6 um, for the um, spoon measurement 0.6 ml to mix it and you are good to go so thank you for watching and if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe if you don't know how to prepare this zobo drink from beginning to end the link to that video will be in the description of this video or you can just go back uh, to my videos and then watch it bye bye So these are the number of bottles I got from that 5 liters of Zobo drink produced. So depending on the bottle you use, you'd get either more or less. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.